Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses with this fantastic void affinity build that I have created for you guys. I will quickly show you the build and then we go with all the boss fights without taking any hit, bro. I named this build Void Bandit because I'm an idiot and I don't have any other idea. But the most important thing here are the stats in where we have 80 on intelligence and 60 on dexterity to improve the scaling of our main weapon. And as you can see, my vigor is too low, cause the purpose of this video is to complete the whole game without getting a single hit, and if I use points on vigor it will be pointless to me cause if I get hit then it's over for me. But if you want to optimize this build for a normal or for a regular gameplay, then I will put 40 on vigor, I will keep intelligence at 60 and I will put 40 on dexterity and I will keep mine on endurance on the same uh, levels and I am about to show you why. I selected all the void like spells but the one that we are going to be using and the only one that I found that is actually fun is the Astel Meteorit of Meteorit of Astel, I don't remember the exact name and it's a fantastic spell that we are going to be using for this video. The equipment will look like this, our main weapon is going to be the Wing of Astel and I have to say that this weapon looks amazing and has a fantastic skill that is Nebula, one of the most powerful skills when it comes to break stands. We will need any staff you have available but if you have the Azure's Glintstone staff it will be your best choice cause it is the fastest one to cast the spells and we are going to use any seal we want in order to be able to cast Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriti which are going to be our main spells for this build. Remember that you can choose the armor you want but if you want to go for the drips I will recommend you to use the Alberich rope with the Traveler set and the Aristocrat headband and your characters will look amazing bro. And we have to be very smart with our talisman choices cause we are going to be playing in a certain way that uh, in some scenarios we are going to use only the weapon and in some scenarios we are going to be able to use the spells, in some others maybe not. So in the best scenario where we are going to be able to use the weapon and the spells, our talisman setup will look like this. The Graven Mass Talisman and the Graven School Talisman will boost the damage of our sorceries by a total of 12%. Now if the boss that we are going to face or the enemy that we are going to face is complicated or is too fast, we maybe will not be able to use the, the spells. So we are going to use the weapon and its skill, that's why we are going to use the Shard of Alexander and the Axe Talisman to deal the most damage possible. And in both scenarios we are going to use the magic scorpion charm to deal the highest magic damage possible and we are going to be using the red feathered branch short. Uh, maybe I will be using this one cause I have to not get hit and I don't care if I play with this tiny HP bar. But in most scenarios for most people you might want to play with your full HP bar. <laughs> So you will need the Ritual Sword Talisman which will be the best choice for you. Now another important stuff is going to be the Flask of Wondrous Physic that depends exactly the same way that the Talismans. If we are going to be able to use the spells we are going to use the Stone Bar Crack Tear and the Cerulean Hidden Tear. But if we are going to use the weapon only we are going to use the Stone Bar Crack Tear and the Spike Crack Tear. As you know if you want you can use the Pickle Turtleneck to regenerate your stamina faster and the Sleep Pots to put some enemies to sleep in scenarios where you find it useful. But in general this is the build and I have to tell you that it's fantastic boys. We already know our build in detail, so what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? Hey man, come here. Nice, let's go baby. This is something that we are going to be able to do like the Ash of War and then some heavy attacks and the damage will be insane bro. Let's go, <laughs> dude. That that thing almost healed me. Hit me. <laughs> it worked, bro. <laughs> nice. It worked, man. <laughs> I was I was being like. Uh, 
I think it will not work. I, I think I will need more time. But it was very, very accurate, man. Nice. That was close. Nice. Ooh, it was close, bro. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> Man, she's so tough. <laughs> Let's go. He took the bait, guys. He took the bait. Nice! <laughs> it's a fireworks show, boys. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> now the important part, guys. Let's see if this works. We are ready. Come, 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 come. Here. A little bit too close. Nice, dude. I was I was already dead right there, bro. But it worked, cause I, that's why I used the stone bar crack tear. Cause just right before he was about to attack me, the stone bar crack tear uh, broke the stance of that guy, dude. Nice, baby. <laughs> What a nice fight, man! That's what, what I don't like to see. Come here, baby. Spear, spear, spear. No, no spear. I get it. Oh, this is perfect. No way you went into the second phase before breaking the stance, bro. What you gonna do? Nice. Let's go. It was it was a little bit different because it's been like three cons, cons three three I, I don't know how to say it three three consecutive videos. Where I just destroyed that guy so easy. I think it's fair to have it uh, to have a, a fight with this guy. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? It works to me. Oh, I broke the stance of the dude, man. I actually will do it now. And I'll send him to second phase. Why are you not going to the second phase, man? I need you to go to the second phase now. So 
close I was about to die. <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting to die, bro, and I actually kill it, bro. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Nice. This is actually a nice strategy. I'll take it. Yeah. It's broken. This is very nice, but what what's going on, bro? <laughs> oh, that was the most annoying one, which is very cool. What am I doing? Oh, that was close, bro. Oh, take that. Let's go, baby. <laughs> this one was much better than the previous one, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna try to use only one, but I will keep the other one just in case. You know? This is perfect to cast the skill. Oh, it's so slow as you can see. The damage is decent. Nice, second phase. Okay. Maybe? Oh, that was close! Whoa. Hold it right there, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> that was close, bro. Nice! First try, boys! Let's go! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Nice, dude. Wow, this is so horrible. What a horrible boss fight, guys. This is nice. <laughs> Tony says. 26, 26k dude, let's go. <laughs> wow, it was fun, bro. <laughs> tail attack, tail attack, tail attack, tail attack. No, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, run away, bro. May I did damage if I do this? Yeah, I did damage, bro. That's cool. Please do the laser stuff. Nice. And now say goodbye. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Sleep, dude. That's close enough to me. <laughs> nice boys, it worked this time. <laughs> 27k damage, baby. That's it. <laughs> great, 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 great.
go, oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> 24k on Plassey. That's insane, man. <laughs> this was fantastic, bro. It was everything about timing. So we got it right there. Yeah, this is what I am talking about, bro. <laughs> it took me a while to perform this thing, man. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's completely worth it. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just right before it was about to to cast that thing, bro. Nice. Yeah, it's the best we can do with this dude, bro. <laughs> but the first phase was so clean, man. The first phase was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, it was more difficult than it looks, boys. Let's go. We completed it. Uh, was perfect man what a fight <laughs> nice oh wow that's some dodging Let's go, baby.
Let's go, baby. I did it. Oh my god, it was so difficult to perform, bro. Wow. Let's go. It was insane, man. <laughs> This build is quite nice, but it's uh, it's a little bit hard to use, specifically if you are trying to not get hit. It's very fun, it's really really fun, but it's very difficult to use as well. So if you are going to play with a high bar of vigor and a bunch of uh, resistance or I mean defense stats with a powerful armor, this build is going to give you a bunch of hours of fun, bro. Another important thing to mention is that I am a little bit disappointed about the wink of Fastel. The skill is quite powerful, but if you want to play with the weapon only, it's not that powerful as you would expect with a 80 intelligence build and a 60 dexterity stat. So uh, it depends on how do you play, what's your playstyle. Uh, sometimes I use two wings of Fastel, but because uh, I was really desperate to defeat the bosses, the skill of the weapon is very, very useful, but the weapon itself is not the best of the corp swords in the game and that's all for me guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel that way you will support me a lot and i will be able to create more videos like this i hope you are having a fantastic day my name is carlos and i will see you in the next one